All right, good morning. Today is December the 3rd, 2024. A chilly morning here in South Georgia. We have decided that we are, it's time for us to clean the greenhouse out and get going with our plants for our spring garden and we will plant also plant the entire area of the greenhouse the floor and the little mit, the bed there in the middle and then we have all the shelves and all and we will make this our winter greens um, garden you can't grow stuff like squash and all in here without some supplemental heating uh, there's a deer that has sprouted up from the ground. Well, that's where I buried the deer skull to let the microbes take the flesh off and all and make a European mount with that, that deer that <laughs> ran in front of my crossbow. Um, okay, so the problem here is that there's all kind of stuff jammed up in here. You know, on the shelf, we've just about cleaned the ground off. Now, didn't keep the greenhouse during the summer. It just grew up, so some of that's been taken care of. But anyway, just to show you what it looks like uh, on December the 3rd, I think I said it was, or the 4th. Now, I've forgotten now. Going to be uh, working at this, but the spiritual principle that I did want to outline was uh, uh, patience. Uh, we had some trouble this morning. We couldn't find the tools that we wanted. Uh, some of them have been broken. The handles had been broken and we couldn't find where they were. And it's just a typical thing, you know, that happens around a farm when you don't properly store your tools, which we don't. But then again, that's that's Maisie out there. She's trying to get our attention. She wants hay. So that's about all I'm going to do right now. But I do want to say, uh, mention that uh, this is going to be an exercise in trying to use uh, spiritual principles to get this job done. Um, now Jesus, our Master, said... Sufficient is the worry of the day therein. And he didn't want us looking ahead and worrying. Well, here's the, we're in the day therein right now, and this is our job for the day. This is the, the worry we have for today. Well, I won't work at this all day, but make some notes while we're doing this of different uh, things that we need. One thing we found out, we don't seem to have any ant poison. There's a couple of ant beds in here that need attention. So sufficient is the worry of the day therein. We have enough worry every day to, without adding to it by thinking about something that's a week away. And uh, so this will be hopefully the first of a series of what this is going to look like in the next few days and getting the seeds planted. Now I did plant a cabbage yesterday right here. I planted a half a flat of cabbage right there, this half right here, and then this half right here is still not planted. And uh, the reason I did that was because um, I think it would be useful to uh, stagger it. And this right here is, uh, I don't know if it's going to want to focus or not, this is called KY Cross Cabbage. I've been using this for quite a few years, and we got a packet of uh, 1,000 seed. It's very inexpensive stuff. But I'll tell you, going to, the, uh, going to the grocery store and buying those little packets of seed, you know, that'll be, they're up to almost $3 a pack now that you see at Lowe's and all, and <clears throat> they're just, 
they're just ripping people off. I don't know. I guess people just, it's just a high profit thing for them. You get about just a tiny bit of seed in one of those little packages and and uh, for $2.39. I think that cabbage that right there bought from uh, a, a regular seed company, I got a thousand cabbage seed for, I don't know, $10, $15. That's the way to buy your seed. But I know that's a, you, you're in Lowe's and you see one of those and all. All right, let's 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 say the Lord's Prayer here. Let's touch base with God. And then I'll cut this thing off and do some work and we'll get back. All right, I'd like you to say it with me if you would. This is the prayer that Jesus gave to his disciples, to his followers. And this is something that should be said. It's an all-inclusive prayer. There's nothing more that you need to say to God. God knows your needs. He knows everything you need. It's okay to say, you know, to scream out, Oh, God, you know, it's all right to just to do that too. But this is the prayer that Jesus did. I'd like you to say it with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. <coughs> as, we forgive, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power <coughs> and the glory forever. Amen. <coughs>